Um, so did you, uh, did you, did you, um, you know the fact that Yes, so, um, two years ago I came to learn about Islam, and so I, um, I watched a friend class and I wanted to learn about it, so I, um, the next year I read the Quran. So, not this class, I'm not the year before, this is my first year of fasting. And then my second, this is my second time of fasting. Okay. So, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I didn't know how to go about it. Oh, so, I, no, <laughs> no. So, I had to find my support. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm good with that. So, mashallah, so you know the fact that. Okay. So, the single most important thing is that when you, like, this is a huge commitment, when you make the commitment, you, the most important thing, the single most important thing, is what we call the penny marriage, is that you're testifying that you only believe in one God, and that God has, uh, that anything that occurs to your mind, God is other than that. So, you make no you do not place on God in gender, in the uh, attributes other than what he has described himself. Even saying he is English, he is a woman, he is a he is a according to some people. So the, that, that's what's really important to know, is that the only way you can get out of this religion is to reject what brought you into the religion. And that is the same that I read about When you say that, then you're accepting the obligations that God has placed on you uh, as a Muslim. And the most important ones are the next four pillars. So you're committing to pray as long as you're, you're able to pray. And there are some things that prevent uh, people from praying, like sickness, and uh, for them they have their own uh, rules for the uh, prayer that uh, concern them. That you're committing to pray the five prayers a day, and then to pay 2.5 percent of your standing loan. Like if a year passes over and you still have that money, then one fortieth of it goes to eight categories of people that God mentions in uh, the Quran. And then um, you, you fast Ramadan once a year if you're, if you're able. And then if you're able, also it's all on ability. If you're able, you make the pilgrimage. To Mecca once in your lifetime, if you're able. Those, those are the, the um, also that as, as, a, as, a, as a woman, when you come into Islam, also, then if you're not married, then you would be also obligated to marry a Muslim. So that's, that's part of the faith. Um, so that, that's pretty much it. And once you say this kalima, um, then, if you're, you know, if you're if you're able to, then you would pray the first prayer, which is mother, and some say last or like that. So, 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 some of you have to, you know, explain to you how to do a whistle because that's the first thing that you do after you um, say the shahada. And so we can say it, and, and I just want to really make sure that you understand the, the commitment that you're making, and. And I will say this, that the mainly bad Muslims, uh, there's like you're coming into a religion that has a lot of beautiful aspects, including community. There's a lot of beautiful Muslims. There's also a lot of bad Muslims, like any group of people. And those bad Muslims, there's a whole spectrum of that. So some are just simply they don't pray, but they're still Muslim. And you still consider them Muslim unless they reject it. So even if you don't fulfill those other four pillars, as long as you don't reject the first one, we still consider you a Muslim. Some people might, you know, they get lazy or other things. I mean, we would hope that they wouldn't, but if you're still a Muslim. So it's really important to know that, that this is really about a commitment to believing in one God that we have a creator. And uh, in fact, you know, I saw this thing, somebody sent me this thing of AI today, and uh, they, they had this AI for little box that was talking and then and they ask and they have, let, let people in the office ask the fifth question and I, I was never here because I wanted to ask it do you believe you have a creator like the engineer that made you like do you believe in him does he exist 
You know, and then the next my follow up question would be is it logical that Scott can hear doesn't have a career, like he doesn't believe in his career, he just pops into it. So that's the most important thing, just belief in God and then all of the problems of God. That there there's been over uh, millennia God has sent guidance to, to his creation and we believe in all of them. We don't make any distinction between them according to the Quran. And that includes all the Jewish prophets, it includes the uh, the Christian prophets, uh, uh, and, and then also the, uh, Jesus as a prophet, not as son of God. Uh, you know, God has dependents, like a dad and children, but not any biological children. So uh, we're all in that way. We have a lot, a lot of the dependents of God, and children of God, but not in any biological sense. So, that's Jesus, and then we believe in the virgin birth in Mary, um, the, uh, the blessed mother of Jesus, who has the highest station of the women in the Quran. So that's it. And then this is a really nice step here being Muslim. Um, so I, I was involved in so the books in there are, are, are good uh, books to read. But what I would say to you, there's something called Fatha, that I mean. Which means what you as a new Muslim are obliged to learn. It's not a lot. It would take you good study, I think six months, uh, to learn it. Once you learn that, you're free to do whatever you want as long as it's halal. But that's actually an obligation to learn. A lot of Muslims don't do it, unfortunately, and that's why there's so much ignorance in the community. Um, but you should really try to do that, and you should do it with a teacher. There's good people here like that. Um, just the whole side of the thing on the other side. I don't know really, but I'm sure she's capable. There's many people that are capable and it's need to help you. And then the one thing that I would really seriously warn you about is there are extremist Muslims. When you become Muslim, there's a lot of excitement. And it's a very powerful event because it's 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 a life changing event. And the Pope's I sense said, enter into this religion gently. Don't try to come in all at once, just come in gently and don't worry about just get these basic things down and buy them as best you're able to and just be really wary of any extremism. And I, and I would say if you have good, good parents, and I'm, I'm assuming you did, generally what your parents told you is probably pretty accurate. So you already have a good moral compass. So if it doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. And so just the prophet said, ask your heart. This is the stuff that comes back. You know, ask your heart. If it doesn't sit right in your heart, then it's probably wrong. Because this religion is a simple religion. It's a religion of the natural understanding of good people. And anybody who has a good heart will feel very at home in the religion of Islam. So that's that's all I have to say. Do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. Thank you for so, um, so, uh, so we we'll have to we'll do this in Arabic and then we'll do it in English. Um, and then, when you, were, what was your religion before? Were you raised in a religion? Yes, I was Catholic. Oh, okay, good. So, Catholics, it's an easy conversion. Yes. There's a lot, yeah. So there's a lot I see a lot of similarities. There's a lot of <laughs> So, um, because it, the Catholics, Orthodox Catholics believe in tradition, like they yes, believe that exactly. they're. Yeah, so we have we have the same Orthodox Muslims have the same understanding that, that we follow the rightly guided, um, and we don't like anachronistically kind of accuse them of being this out or the other just because it doesn't suit whatever the right guys do. Yeah. So um, I'm going to say this in Arabic, and you can say it, and then I'm going to add one thing to it since you're a Christian. Um, which my teacher taught me to do, uh, which is just to testify that Jesus was the logos of God, uh, a servant of God, uh, and a messenger of God, and that Mary was his uh, was his virgin mother, um, and and then uh, you know the moral Jesus, the human being. So this is Rahman Rahim, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. 